This is the second part of the likes and dislike feature tutorial, and I gotta make a little adjustment to the second second query. So as you go, select all from orders where username equals user. You add an and PID equals PID. So that so we can know what which which one the user voted on or not. So as we're going in our if statement. What we do is if if voted equals one, then it shouldn't. You cannot vote again for this video, or f not really video for this page. I guess. Else, we're gonna have a link here. Echo, like, like, or dislike. Okay, fail. But we can have buttons, or we can just have. Um, like or dislike, and I'm gonna go with buttons because, yeah, because I just don't, I don't, I just wanna go with buttons. Input type equals submit. Um, name equals like, kike, and value equals like. Dislike. So once we click like, it's gonna give us a like, and once we click dislike, it's gonna give us a dislike. I'm gonna click one at once. But for now, I'm just gonna test something in the voters. Names in a row. PID one. Voted one. And user. at the sessions, I put seasons, so sessions. Now I'm going to try it again. So just, I guess I didn't do this, but yeah, add once, or for a second row name, I forgot to add them, which is pretty stupid of me. And yeah, there we go, it works now. I was feeling really stupid there. So yeah. Gonna do this quickly. Form action equals nothing. Method equals nothing. And I'm just gonna end the form. Okay. Um. Now I'm just gonna have to edit this and put one back to zero. And it should chill things again. Good to do it out here. If is set post what okay my keys aren't working yet. There we go. That should work. If a set post
comes at likes equals plus one plus okay likes equals here I'll define this out right here second part where we um like update two equals where we like set, uh set the user to have already voted SQL so let's do that query By the way, um, if you're going to be using this, you might want to have a register page, and you might want to add these fields with them because, yeah, you kind of have to do that. So if, if it does that, here I'm going to just vote again, and then and then you should just add a header, like a reload. now because I kind of didn't add this before but yeah and the same thing you do with um, the dislikes just copy this paste it here and this copy the likes thing too but you might want to change that too well you kind of have to this. so dislikes one equals dislikes plus one header location equals PID update three equals update vote set dislikes equals dislikes one where PID equals add k and update four equals my school query the voters set voted equals one yeah that should be good so that should be it I believe oh right except gonna set water to zero again and the votes I'm just gonna set the vote to zero as well so I'll go to the first page click like okay um, you cannot vote for again for this page and since I've already voted and I'll go zero again back to the page dislikes and one this was really simple but I haven't done like you can get you, your database can get hacked like SQL injection which I didn't cover through this tutorial so 